Madam Chairperson, Your Excellencies, dear sisters and colleagues, First Ladies of Senegal, Your Excellency, the First Lady of Comor, and Her Excellency, the First Lady of Burundi. Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, Honorable Chief Justice of the Gambia, Honorable Ministers, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Mayors and Governors, Venerable Religious Leaders, Representatives of International Organizations and Institutions, Women Leaders, NGOs, Executive Director, Women Advancement Forum, Distinguished Delegates, Members of the Press, all other protocols respectfully observed. Good afternoon, everyone. As the continent celebrates yet another anniversary of Africa Liberation Day, I am pleased to welcome you to a country whose leader was born on the same day observed throughout the continent as the Day of Liberation. To host this edition of the Women Advancement Forum in this country, whose leader is a pioneer in the advancement of women could not have happened as a coincidence. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure to extend to you all a very warm welcome on behalf of His Excellency, Chef Professor al Haj Dr. Yahya A.J.J. Jamme, the President of the Republic of the Gambia. President Jame is very appreciative of the fact that the Gambia was chosen as host for this conference because it's a staunch believer in the potential of women to transform the socio-economic situation of our continent and humanity at large. This is why from day one we assumed the leadership of this country. He immediately increased the number of women in cabinet and since the women have always constituted a high percentage of his cabinet at any point in time. This is in addition to the admirable fact that President Jammeh has the longest serving female vice president in the world. A woman of substance whom he has also tasked with the responsibility of the cabinet portfolio of women's affairs. He has appointed women to the exalted positions of Chief Justice and Speaker of the National Assembly on several occasions. The theme for this high-level forum is challenges and achievements in the implementation of the Millennium Development Goals for women and girls. This theme is very apt because national policies often to, do not give due prominence to the special role and dimension of women and girls. I am proud to say that the Gambia government under the visionary leadership of President Jame places special emphasis on the gender factor in all national policies and programs. The effect of this has already been noticed in our socio-economic development program. We have almost achieved parity in the enrollment and retention of girls in schools. In addition to government policy, President Jame uses his own resources in the empowerment of women and girls. The President Empowerment of Girls Education Project, PEGEP, pays for the tuition and other needs of school-going girls throughout the country. Current assessments reveal that MDG targets including maternal health, hunger, and access to basic amenities such as safe drinking water are likely to be met by 2015. The Gambia is also on track toward achieving MDG 3 to promote gender equality and empower women. It is important to note that the Gambia's progress toward the attainment of the MDG goals 
is unheard on the fact that our government has given women the rightful share of positions in the decision-making process. We prioritize girls' education, and our government continues to pay special attention to the needs of women and girls in the development agenda. It is obvious that there are many challenges hindering the progress to the attainment of the MDG for women and girls. These challenges include, but are not limited to the recent global economic and financial crisis and its impact on developing countries. One sure way to further advance the socio-economic situation of women and girls is to improve girls' education and also further within the space for women to participate fully in our decision-making processes. When our girls are educated, they will be in better position to take up decision-making responsibilities and then give priority to women empowerment. Another important factor is to continue to enact women and girls' child-friendly laws that will facilitate their participation. The Gambia provides a solid example in this direction with the enactment of various acts that protect women against unfair treatment in the labor, force and sexual violence, among others. As we approach the end date of uh, 2015, it is time to make a final push for accelerating the implement implementation of MDGs, non-state actors like the Women Advancement Forum, which is another platform that recognizes the necessary of women empowerment for the actualization of the MDGs, need to be commended and further supported to ensure that all our resources, be it human or mat material, are fully employed. Under President Chame's leadership, the Gambia continues to recognize that no development program can be successfully without the effective participation and full support of women. Therefore, our resolve is strong to pursue a deliberate policy in empowering Gambian women by appointing qualified and capable women into position for decision-making and authority, not only in the Gambia, but also in international organizations like the ICC, where our sister Fatou Bomb Ben Souda shines as a bright example. <laughs> Madam Chairperson, Your Excellencies and dear sisters, ladies and gentlemen, on this note, it is my honor and pleasure to officially declare this meeting open. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless your deliberations. Once again, I thank the organizer, organizers for holding this high-level forum in the Gambia in order to make our continent a better place. I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you. We have taken a cue from the First Lady of the Republic of the Gambia statement and those words 